Hello, in this video, I am going to explain the difference between static and dynamic variables. So whenever you create a variable by default, so if I create a variable i equals 9, that's a dynamic variable. I can change this to dynamic and this is not change. So this is by default just a dynamic variable. So why is a static variable? I'm going to demonstrate it using a class. If you want to learn more about classes, feel free to take a look at the classes part of this series because this video isn't really about classes. I'm just utilizing classes to demonstrate static variables. So if I create a simple class and I'm just going to call it epic and I'm going to have a couple of variables in here. So var status equals zero. Then I'm going to have another one, but this is going to be static and you click the static keyword, then your data type, you, it could be var, it could be an explicit data type of integer, for example, So static var, and I'm going to call this static s, which is static status equals zero as well. So now I'm going to have a function. So I'm just going to call it epic fun. Oh, I'll leave you as epic fun. And in here, whenever it's called, all we're going to do is status plus plus, and that's just going to add one to status on this static s plus plus. So this is again just going to add one to this one. And what we're going to do is do a print line. We are going to print out. We are going to print out. What shall we print out? Oh, I know what we're printing out. We're printing out both of these so I am going to print out the status is dollar status and static s is dollar static s okay so let's actually get rid of this we don't need this anymore let's create an instance of this little class so if we do var is called epic, I believe. Epic equals new. Uh, actually, no. Epic is the data type, and I need to have a name. So I'll just put e as the name equals epic. And what I'm going to do is do e dot epic fun. I'm going to run this three times. Let's see what we get. So we get status one, static s one, status two, static s two. You know, one, two, three, you know, one is being added to it. Simple stuff, really. It's, you know, what you would just generally accept, you know, expect. But why if I did this? What if I created another variable, e2, and I called e 2 functions? So after here, I'm going to put a print that's the same that this is e2 now. And I'm going to have a print over here saying this is E1. Okay. Look at what's happened. Status is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But static S is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you just have a regular variable, so, you know, the equivalent of just having, you know, a dynamic keyword there. If you have a regular variable, which is dynamic, each instance of the class has its own set of variables. What that basically means is you need to, one, create an instance of it to be able to access and utilize the variable. Two, if I have a specific value for E here, I mean for status in this instance, it will be, it can be different to this one. But if I have a static variable, there's only one of it, one of them in memory. So no matter how many classes I create, they are all sharing the same variable, hence why the data is persisting. So even though we've done one, two, three, and this is a whole nother variable, because it's still accessing the same area in memory, it still continues ticking up four, five, six. So that's the difference between a static and a dynamic variable. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.